Hi guys, it's me again. I'm Miss Valerie Rivas, the CEO and founder of Royale Classy Creations, where we create customized classy designs that showcase our clients' individual style, leaving their guests astounded. I'm coming to you today with another DIY tutorial. It is a ring floral centerpiece. I saw this on Pinterest, I want to say, or Instagram but it was a lovely ring just a ring circle kind of frame centerpiece um, with uh, flowers coming out of it and I thought I would do my own um, design and, and add a little bit and take a little bit out so um, but I want to tell you guys this I found these at the Dollar Tree and I got really excited because I can get two uses out of this. I can use these mirrors. And if you know, these mirrors, the size of these mirrors, uh, when you go to buy them for your events, they can cost anywhere between five and seven dollars each. And to find this at Dollar Tree was absolutely amazing for me. So I'm gonna be using the frame from this um, to make this centerpiece so I'm extremely excited um, to be able to get two uses out of something that you get at the Dollar Tree so guys if you find these in your local Dollar Tree please 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 go get them and um, you'll be so excited because there's never been a time that you can get two uses out of something at Dollar Tree so uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here are the items that we're going to need. We're going to need these little silver bones. And they have these at the Dollar Tree. I think they come about four in a pack. Three or four in a pack. We're going to need these this string of lights and they have these at the Dollar Tree as well they're going to be in the floral section okay of course if you can find these frames please pick them up because there's so many ways you can use them and when I went to the store I got all of them that they had I'm hoping I can go to another store and find some more because this is a great find, people. Great find. You're going to need your assortment of flowers, and I'm just going to be using white for right now. You need your floral foam, your wire cutters. And your trusty glue gun, glue sticks, and for all of those that know me, I use my Gorilla Glue for permanent uh, centerpieces that I'm making. So if I'm making anything for an event, I make sure that it's going to be permanent. I use my Gorilla Glue. So. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take these mirrors in here, and they just pop right out. So easy. And look at that. You can use that to sit your centerpieces on. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these out. And then I want my ring to be gold. So I'm going to go ahead and I take these out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and paint these gold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it together. I'm going to glue it together. And 
and then I'm going to paint this gold. And once I return, I'm going to paint this and this gold. Okay. And then I'm just going to sit it here. I'm just showing you guys how this is going to be set up. Because I don't like my videos to be really, really long. So once I get that painted, I'm just going to sit it here. And this is pretty much how it's going to look. And then what you'll do is add your floral foam. And I'll show you how to cut your floral foam out so that you can place your lights. Because your lights are going to go in here. And you're basically just going to feed it in here. Because once you close this, if you can see in the middle there, the middle is still pretty much open. If you can see that. So all you would have to do is stuff your lights in the hole and you're good to go guys. This is such an easy, easy DIY and it's going to be very beautiful, very elegant for any wedding or any event that you have planned. So I'm going to come right back after I have painted everything and got it set up for you and you guys can see. Um, what I'm doing when I uh, begin to finish this, okay? Okay guys, so I got everything painted and I put it together. Now, um, I didn't get a chance to show you guys this and I so apologize for that. But I wanted to show you, you see where the, I don't know if you can see, where the lights are so all I really did was cut out a little section um, in the floor foam uh, just large enough to add that that battery pack and to have it sticking out a little bit so that you can turn it on so I don't know if you can see the lighting you can see that coming through like that okay so I just did that and um, it just added everything so I got my little base got my frame and I want to add maybe some bling wrap to cover up the seams here um, it's not too bad but I, I would like to cover that seam up and make it look a little um, a little more professional so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and start adding my flowers and I really love these so I wanted to have them kind of hang off on each side so I'm just going to place them in kind of like that So going upwards and then I'll put those on the side here and then I'll put two on this side and it might be a little tricky because you have the the battery pack in there but if you maneuver it around a little bit then you'll you get it to fit in there properly. So, see how that is. So, I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my flowers, and then I will be back to show you guys the finished product. Okay, guys, here it is all complete. Flowers added. I was going to do all white, but I decided to add these little green uh, roses that I had um, sitting around that I hadn't used in a while, so I decided to add those to it, but you can do whatever colors you would like. Um, I'm going to show some pictures at the end of this because you're probably not getting a very good view in this video, 
Um, my lighting is not the best. Uh, so I'm going to try to get some really good pictures of it and let you guys see um, just how beautiful that is. Uh, even with the lights turned off and you have your your twinkle lights um, on in there and uh, I, it's it's really nice. I, I thought it turned out really well. Um, so we have some great stuff going up. We have a new DIY uh, workshop that's coming up. If you're in the Milwaukee area, please um, get registered for that. We also have a live telecast, so if you want the information for that, I'll go ahead and post that within this video um, in the description box for you. Uh, and you can get signed up for that as well. So, as always, first of all, thank you. Thank you all, all your new subscribers and all of those that are uh, continually watching our videos. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it any comments or feedback you have please don't hesitate um, we would love to hear your feedback um, because what doesn't break us makes us stronger so um, again the DIY workshop is coming up so please please if you're available join us for that because I'm truly excited about that um, so with that being said again thank you and as always, be royale, be classy, and be creative.